Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bubbles is singing. <laughs> so I wanted to do my video and have you enjoy this beautiful bird. Yeah, that's what he does. He's very talented. And he is, I know that. We're looking for a wife for him. <laughs> Bubble. Bubbles! <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope I won't offend anyone, especially the fam. <laughs> the fam. <clears throat> Again, I just want to honor my wife. Why did I love Jennifer? Previously, During the time when I met her, my ex, I won't mention no names, and everything is document everything is documented. I will come back late from work and she will tell me I wish you die I wish you die You get in a car accident and you get killed. And she looks like she meant it. My mom visited. Eighty nine, I think. 90. And my mom left very upset, having seen my mom since 80, the last 10 years. 10 years, that's exactly 10 years I saw her when I was in Greece, Athens, with my dad, Varham, my Baba. And she came and she spent a few days, she stayed with my other brother, and then I am the older brother. <laughs> and at the time, I think, I don't know if my brother has any kids yet. So I was uh, probably the first grandchild for in this side, not over there. <laughs> I, my mom, left 
and she was very upset and she said I'll never go to and she told my brother my other brother don't tell Muhammad that that's why I left why because my mom she didn't want to you know break my marriage she just said you know she will go and stay with my other brother now on a contrast when I met Jennifer she went out of her way to love my boys as much as they are hers. Hamza was the baby at the time. And he stayed with us most of the time because he didn't go to school back then. He was young. That's why. Now, the second thing that Jennifer did, she was pregnant. Seven months pregnant or so. <laughs> and I was working and I could not take off to go get my mom from New York. Because, you know, she doesn't speak English. And it was kind of, uh, always someone has to wait for her in, in New York, in the airport, and direct her for to, back then they didn't have, you know, interrogators and everything else, or whatever, you know, that now the service that they have after 9-11 and everyone uh, knows about terrorists and everything. <laughs> Okay, Jennifer went, got my mom from New York airport, spent the night or a couple nights at the hotel there in New York, and then she flew back with my mom. And that was the first time for her to meet my mom, and I seen a difference. Jennifer was a kind, very kind. Maybe she got other issues and problems, but she was a sweet person. She was sweet. And that's why I didn't meet her while I was married and I, you know, cheated on my wife and all this nonsense, you punks! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go and look at the records. Go look at the records. And ask. Instead of sitting there and judge. Alrighty then, I'm sorry I'm getting emotional, but I just want to clear and honor my wife and what happened to her. I still wanted someone to answer me what really happened to Jennifer. Alright? And again, I ain't gonna go away, fellas, inshallah. <laughs> and I will pursue it. Until I find out what happened and the responsible criminals have to be brought to justice. And I don't care who they are. Okay. Volma. And that's not for Muhammad Shabon. La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. This is for millions of people that get victimized because the absence of Deenullah.
Dinullah. Every crime is justified. حكم الله. Whether you like it or not, is gonna be implemented. When people right to live is gonna be protected, to live a peaceful, wholesome, holy life as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decree decreed to us. Sharia. Shara Allah. And people right to choose and believe in anything they want, it will be protected. It won't be terrorist attack because when you go and you have a visa, tourist, whatever, that's Ahd Aman and protection. Learn! Learn! Okay? Khutbat al wida'a دماءكم لدماءكم وأموالكم وأعراضكم عليكم حرام learn learn about خير خلق الله Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's it. I just wanted to. <laughs> uh, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. My roommate at the Institute of South London American Muslim Office. I don't know. Sounds like someone that been hired. <laughs> Very secretive. Can't even get the guy number. <laughs> Fellas! Fellas! Rest. Okay? Rest. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.